my name is Alonian Saar, and these are the Essex. Uh, my name is Alonian Saar. And these are the Essex. Uh, my name is Alonian Saar. And these are the Essex. Good to see you. Good to see you. So the Essex uh, allow the open air triggering and manipulation of sound and visual sound, as you can see. Utilizing these virtual reality gaming controllers, we build custom software that takes data from controllers and spits out MIDI and OSC over a network to a musical application and also a real-time visualization system built by my colleague Matt Hughes. So today I want to show some of the different virtual instruments that Matt and I have uh, designed and built as recently as the last few days. Um, first, I'd like to kind of showcase the workings of the triggering system, particularly. So a sound is triggered by striking through the air, or more specifically through the X rotation. <laughs> So you can imagine there's an imaginary plane here that detects the velocity on and off. So this allows me, as a drummer that's not used to be able to control the sustain of the sound, to have volume and length, but also the release time. So I think of this triggering system a lot like uh, splashing through water. I engage the sound by breaking the surface of the water. That sound can remain on as long as I wish, and then I can manipulate that with different uh, parameters. So I can filter the sound to pan the sound. And the absolute position of both hands controls the timbre. Gives this stretching effect mirrored here in the visuals. Uh, so we, our goal is always to make uh, expressive and transparent audio-visual gestural performances to harmonise the music with the movement and the visuals in real time to enable the performer to connect with the audience and improvise with other musicians or performers. And we use this screen to allow the audience and performer to relate to the visuals. And having built the system in Unity allows us to replace this screen with any other mixed reality technology as they develop. Um, so the strength of this system really is that the same data has been used to create the sound and the visuals. This means a very clear, transparent mapping. You can map different pitches to different colors. sounds to noisy visuals, and these can all be done through gestures that are obvious, or not so obvious. So we use buttons here to mute and unmute different virtual instruments that we can then layer on top of each other. So this is our bass arpeggiator. 
again, the tambic and hit and panning and filter can be controlled. But what's different about this one is we can tune the instrument as well. It's something we've been working on a lot to get away from the computer. So I can change the tempo with this hand and then lock in a new tempo. And obviously I have audio and visual feedback for that as I tune. I can change the pitch and the sequence. I can play it freely or lock it in. On the other hand, we have a hi-hat pattern. That works in a similar fashion, with a different visualization system, kind of using the metaphor of opening a safe. And with the thumb here, I can play very subtle uh, rhythms. And rhythms that are humanly impossible to play as well. And as you can see, it takes 12 ticks for this hi-hat to, uh, to go around a full circle, and that sets us up for our looping uh, system. So I can bring that up. So we've mapped five different samples around this circle. And using the time of the hi-hat, we can then loop a 12-beat uh, bar over that. I can press the record button. If I don't like the loop, I can delete it, start again, layer more instruments on top of it, and create a piece.